Hi everyone, today I want to show you the Zuni Master Witch Doctor that I have been playing on the PTR recently. And this looks actually really good. So you might have seen some hype around Zuni Master for Season 25 release, when it got like a pretty big ethereal and it just looked to be quite strong in general. Witch Doctor having these kind of like niche sort of pushing builds that can go all the way to GL150. And the Soul Shards theme is stronger than Ethereals for basically every build in the game. So 150 is even more achievable than ever almost for pretty much anyone. And this includes Dunimasa, which also got some pretty nasty toughness boosts if you include the new Lakumba's ornament now. So typically Zunimasa has been the squishiest build in the entire game with having zero toughness. You go in there, you even have a squirt necklace equipped, you have no damage reduction besides a little bit coming from your Zunimasa set. And that was about it. So you got usually completely one shot by everything that looked at you strangely. And this has changed now. A little disclaimer, the rank 1 at the end of the season that gets like the best time on ZR150 solo will almost guaranteed still be that super glass cannon setup because once you have let's say 5, 6, 8,000 paragons or so you can kind of maybe take a hit or two and actually not completely die. So those setups still perform a bit better because they have more damage and especially once you go to time attack mode where you don't really fight elite packs for multiple minutes or something like that but you just blast stuff down you are also much safer from all the extra DPS that you have. But for the most part, and also for a much more casual friendly build, you can play a very tanky version now, using the Kumba's ornament, using Endless Walk, no convention, no squirts necklace, and you can even decide to put your Endless Walk to defensive mode if you run around a little bit and start a step around, and you will be quite tanky. I was going in here in this GR145, absolutely no problem, I was standing there tanking stuff, and I had 2 billion toughness or something. It was amazing compared to what I know from this build before. You can actually stand there and shoot your darts. In fact, I also realized that the Horrify is kind of pointless at this point, so I was actually dropping this for the Big Bad Voodoo, so you can even go with a defensive Voodoo if you like, or just go with Slam Dance for the extra damage, and that was going really well. Essentially, you want to try to summon your fetishes and you want to position them like around you and then spawn Oculus Rings, get Echoing Fury stacks, get into your Oculus Ring and blast stuff down. You have really high attack speed, you stack attack speed essentially everywhere because there's extreme double dipping going on with the Zunimasa build where you shoot more darts and the damage of the darts from your fetishes gets scaled by attack speed as a damage multiplier too. So essentially you end up with like 4 attacks per second which gives you insane healing from simplicity strength that is in a build and since you have a bit of like base toughness you will quite easily survive even big hits and you can heal up insanely fast. I was very positively surprised by this new way to play Zunimasa. I believe it's actually going to be quite fun for a lot of Witch Doctor lovers so if you're going for a Witch Doctor season with the new reworked Arakia and stuff you can definitely also go check out Zunimasa at some point because it is definitely very viable to do 150 solo with. You will need some Paragons and some good gear, but even going a little bit lower, like 145, 140, is not going to be such a big deal if you want to go that high. It's a bit hard to say right now if this is actually going to be the best solo Witch Doctor build. It definitely looks like it's going to be one of the top. It might even end up in like S tier of all builds maybe, depending on how the other classes perform. But in general, this is definitely looking like one of the top builds to play, as it did in Season 24. The problem was just in Season 24, you didn't have the option to play this kind of tanky playstyle without giving up way too much of your damage. But now with the Dakumba's ornament giving you lots of extra base toughness, you can do much better, survive much more easily, and you don't really have to worry about a lot of things like the CoE cycle and the squirts. As I will be playing some Witch Doctor in Season 25 because of the new Arakia update, I will basically guarantee it also include some Sunimasa there. It was a lot more fun than I remember it in the past from some other pushes I have done with this because now you can actually play the build and not just fall over. I believe that even without the Season 25 theme, the Soul Shards giving this build quite a lot of power, this is probably going to stay in one of the top builds to play in solo for uh, Witch Doctors and also in general. Sunimasa has had quite a lot of power in terms of raw DPS, but it always had this issue that it was absolutely unplayable for anyone who is not like 5k Paragon or so, unless you're an absolute god gamer and you want to fish like a thousand keys. 
Obviously, fishing for a really good map still helps with this because it's a rather slow paced setup with this endless walk and the positioning requirements and all that stuff. Also, the fact that you want to get those Ecking Fury procs with this double dipping attack speed effect makes it so that certain monster types work extremely well for this build and others simply don't work so well. But obviously, if you go to like a little bit lower tiers, let's say GR 140 or below, this Ecking Fury problem is not really so big because you just kill most things anyway and you have a nice chain of Ecking Fury procs. But once you go higher and higher with the pushing, you kind of rely on getting like lots of little small monsters in there to get a nice chain of Ecking Fury and not drop the stacks all the time. As you can see here, this GR145 is pretty much a cakewalk for my character at just 2.5k paragons, not even optimized and really crappy weapon. So this can definitely be improved a lot. And there's a Bane of Stricken in there that will make the Rift Guardian also melt pretty quickly with all the attacks that you're gonna have. So overall really cool stuff for Witch Doctors to look forward to for the season I believe and also for the future I believe it's gonna be a pretty nice build. So this is what I wanted to highlight here. Hope you enjoyed this little overview and see you guys next time.